Good morning everyone. I hope you enjoyed my previous video on the job profile of a software engineer. If you missed it, you can catch up using the link below. In this series, I will be covering technical interview questions and answers for software engineers. This is the first session and I have 4 to 5 more videos lined up which is included MNCs like Google, Infosys, TCS and Wipro. If you want to stay updated, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications on time. Let's get started. Topic number 1. Object Oriented Programming OP. Question number 1. What is the difference between inheritance and polymorphism? Inheritance is a mechanism where a new class is derived from an existing class, inheriting its properties and methods. Polymorphism allows objects of different classes to be treated as objects of a common superclass, primarily through the use of interfaces and abstract classes. Question number 2. Can you explain the concept of encapsulation in object-oriented programming? Encapsulation is the concept of hiding the implementation details of an object from the outside world and only exposing the necessary information through public methods. This helps in data protection and code modularity. Question number 3. Can you explain the concept of abstraction in object-oriented programming? Abstraction is the concept of showing only the necessary information to the outside world while hiding the implementation details. This helps in reducing complexity and improving modularity. Second topic is database systems. Question number 4. What is the difference between a primary key and a foreign key in a database? A primary key is a unique identifier for each row in a table while a foreign key is a field in a table that refers to the primary key of another table. This helps in establishing relationships between tables. Question number 5. Can you explain the concept of normalization in database design? Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to minimize data redundancy and dependency. This involves dividing larger tables into smaller tables and linking them through relationships. Question number 6. Can you explain the concept of denormalization in database design? Denormalization is the process of intentionally violating the normalization rules to improve the performance of a database. This involves combining related data into a single table to reduce the number of joins required. Third section is operating systems. Question number 7. Can you explain the concept of process scheduling in an operating system? Process scheduling is the mechanism by which an operating system allocates the CPU to different processes. This involves selecting a processes from the ready queue and allocating the CPU to it for a specific time period. Question number 8. Can you explain the concept of memory management in an operating system? Memory management is the mechanism by which an operating system manages the memory allocation and deallocation for different processes. This involves allocating memory to processes, deallocating memory when processes terminates, and it handling memory related errors. Question number 9. Can you explain the concept of file system management in an operating system? File system management is the process of organizing and managing data and programs in an operating system. It's a fundamental aspect of an OS and is crucial for effective data handling. It encompasses various tasks and functionalities including file creation, organization, access control, manipulation and maintenance. Fourth topic is networking. Question number 10. Can you explain the concept of TCP IP protocol suite? The TCP IP protocol suite is a set of communication protocols used to interconnect network devices on the internet. It consists of four layers 
application layer, transport layer, internet layer and link layer. Question number 11. Can you explain the concept of HTTP and HTTPS? HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is a protocol used for transferring data over the internet. While HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, is a secure version of HTTP that uses encryption to protect data in transist. Question number 12. Can you explain the concept of DNS? DNS Domain Name System is a system that translates domain names into IP addresses allowing users to access websites and other online resources using easy to remember domain names instead of difficult to remember IP addresses. That's it for today's video on technical interview questions and answers for software engineers. I hope you found this session informative and helpful. If you want to learn more questions including MNCs like Google, Infosys, Wipro and TCS and prepare for your next technical interview, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. In the next video, we will be covering more advanced technical interview questions and answers. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.